Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Levels Explained for Dragon Ball Z Movie 5 and Movie 6. I decided to combine them into one video since they are sequels to one another. Let's start with Movie 5, Cooler's Revenge, the English title, or The Incredible Strongest vs. Strongest, the Japanese title. As many of you know, before I start power scaling, I like to try and figure out where these movies can take place in the timeline, so I can give you all a better idea of where I pull my numbers from. These movies of course are set in alternative realities, as said by Mr. Toriyama himself. Judging by this quote, this movie takes place in between the three year time period where the Z Fighters trained for the artificial humans. One thing stands out to me. Gohan has his hair cut, so this movie has to be after Goku and Trunks met up. This can take place at any time period in between the three year gap, but I will just say it was shortly after Trunks gave Goku and the other Z Fighters the warning, and of course in a world where Frieza has a brother. The movie opens off with the event of Planet Vegeta getting destroyed by Frieza and Bardock's last stand against him. I have Bardock at 9,800, since it was said he was nearly 10,000 at this point. First form Frieza is of course stated to be at 530,000. We cut back to Earth where Gohan, Krillin, and Oolong are camping. I will place Gohan at 200,000, the same level he was in the Frieza arc, and Krillin at 75,000 respectively. Cooler's armored squadron then ambush them. Goku then arrives. I will place Goku at 3,600,000, the level he was when he returned to Earth during the Future Trunks mini arc. Goku easily deals with Cooler's thugs until Cooler himself arrives. I will place base Cooler at 4,500,000. Cooler heavily damages Goku with an eye beam that incapacitates him for a good amount of the movie. After a bunch of planning and orchestrating for Goku to be healed, Piccolo finally arrives to fight with Cooler's henchmen. I will place Piccolo at 1,900,000, the level I used for him in the future Trunks mini arc. The numbers in that page of the V-Jump magazine for the henchmen do not really make sense unless Piccolo got around 10 times weaker. So I will increase Cooler's soldiers to more plausible levels. Also, the 470 million for Final Form Cooler is way too high in my opinion. So I will not be using that number for his final form. I will place Door at 1 million 350,000, and Naze at 1,200,000. I decided on these levels since Piccolo dealt with both of them easily. Piccolo and Souser then start fighting, with Piccolo seeming to have a slight advantage. I will place Souser at 1,700,000 because of this. After a bit of fighting, Cooler shows up and death beams Piccolo, fatally wounding him. Goku then eats a Sensu and emerges from hiding. I think Goku got a Zenkai, so I will place Goku at 4,500,000 after being healed up. Goku is able to fight head to head with base Cooler. After exchanging some blows, Cooler reveals that he can transform one transformation further than Frieza. Cooler then transforms, and Goku remarks that Cooler is even stronger than Frieza. I will place Final Form Cooler at 150 million, due to Goku's statement. For those curious of where I would place full power Cooler in his previous form, I would place it at 105 million. Cooler is easily able to keep up with Goku using the Kaioken. The levels used are open to interpretation, but I will say Goku was using the Kaioken times 10 at first, since it is known he could easily handle the Kaioken times 10. 
I think when Goku unleashed the Kaioken Kamehameha, he was using the 20 times Kaioken, since I think this fight was meant to mirror the fight with Frieza. This puts Goku at 45 million with the Kaioken times 10, and 90 million with the Kaioken times 20. Goku then finally turns Super Saiyan, and guys, this is just a Toei thing dragging out the Super Saiyan transformation in the movies. It's even worse in movie 7. Using the 50 times multiplier, this puts Goku at 225 million. Cooler is shown to be powerless against Goku. Not even his most powerful attack worked against Goku, and he is fired into the sun, seemingly dead. But this is where movie 6 now comes in, the return of Cooler, the English title, or Clash, 10 Billion Powerful Warriors, the Japanese title. This movie is impossible to fit into the main timeline. I mean, Dende is somehow guardian of Earth, and this movie is supposed to take place around Cell's first appearance. Yeah, I can't really make sense out of this, but I guess the artificial humans are all defeated in this alternate reality? I guess that's why they're not mentioned? Who knows. But the movie opens up with a shot of Namekians being shown to be enslaved to Cooler's army of robots. I will place the warrior Namekian who tried to rebel at 3000, the stated level for the Namekian warriors on Old Namek. The robots are a bit tricky to figure out, but I think they have to vary in power. Krillin was able to destroy some, but then started having problems later on. There is also the fact that they had to control their ki perfectly in order to beat them. Kinda weird. Kinda cool. I will place Cooler's robots between 400,000 and 750,000 each. For Gohan and Krillin, I will use the levels I calculated for them in the beginning of the Artificial Humans arc. Gohan is at 4 million, and Krillin is at 600,000. Piccolo also fights the robots with Gohan and Krillin. Piccolo has to be fused with Kami at this point, so I will place him at 380 million at full power. Meanwhile, Goku is fighting with Cooler. Since this movie takes place around the time when Cell first appears, I will place Goku at 5,200,000 in his base, and 52 million when using the Kaioken. I think he was using the 10 times Kaioken, since it is known that Goku can easily handle it. I would place initial metal cooler at 230 million. Since it is obvious that he has improved greatly since his last appearance, but was able to be overpowered when Goku finally turns Super Saiyan and fights with him a little bit. Using the 50 times multiplier for Super Saiyan, this places Goku at 260 million. Cooler recovers from Goku's powerful attack, and states that he is now stronger than before. I would place Metal Cooler at 350 million at this point, since Goku is now helpless against him in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Vegeta then saves Goku's life, and joins in on the fight. I would place Vegeta at 5,500,000, and as a Super Saiyan, at 275 million. Since Piccolo thought Vegeta might be stronger than Goku during the fight with 19. Goku and Vegeta fight a difficult battle with Metal Cooler until they combine their forces into one powerful attack and seemingly destroy him. That is, until a whole army appears. Goku and Vegeta are easily defeated and are about to be drained of their ki until they overload the core with their remaining ki. The remains of Cooler then materialize into a robot and try to stop Goku and Vegeta, but ultimately fails. I would place this Cooler robot at 310 million 
since he was overpowering Goku, but did not seem to have the same power as before, since Goku and Vegeta were able to defeat him in weakened states. And that concludes the power levels for Movie 5 and Movie 6. Join me next time for Movie 7, Super Android 13, the English title, or Extreme Battle, the three great Super Saiyans, the Japanese title. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.